Thank you for all of your feedback on yesterday's episode. I needed your options and input on who we sign to replace Estekio, who's left us to go to Tottenham Hotspur. We currently have uh, about £14 million in the budget at present. And we'd like to sign Beneve. Now, we do need to sell Bondo to do that. And Leeds have come in with a £15.1 million bid. So I am going to try and negotiate this a little bit higher if I can. But I'd be tempted to just... I would be very tempted to just accept it. I'm not going to negotiate much higher than this. There you go. 16.4. They'll, they'll sign. So when Bondo goes, we'll have enough money to bring in the man that we had on our shortlist, Benebe. We've got a lot of players on my shortlist, to be fair. But Benebe is the preference to come in as a replacement for Estekio into that central midfield role. He's actually very good going both ways. So that's a bonus. And then you would also like me, depending on how good uh, Charlie McCann is, to pick up, and how much they want wage-wise, to pick up a couple of free agents just to bulk out the, uh, the squad a little bit, which absolutely does need doing. Because as you can see here, whilst we've got... Some quality on the bench. Uh, there, there's not really anything else anywhere else, is there? So we certainly could do with an, an extra couple of bodies, if possible. But looking to bring one in to start where Makengo currently is. We obviously brought in Michael Elise in the transfer window most recently as well. He's played his debut. And we haven't yet won a game uh, in the last couple. We've Espanyol to start in the Copa del Rey. It's a competition we absolutely want to win this year. And then deadline day and then Bilbao. And then I'm expecting, if we do get through against Espanyol, for there not to be another Copa del Rey game until the month of March. So I am going to record another one this evening. And Hetafe, Atleti and Real will be the next episode. But we're going to push forwards. Hopefully Leeds can agree terms with Bondo rather sharp. It is so very rare, isn't it, that anybody doesn't agree contract terms with someone. I'm not selling Chavez, thank you very much. And Pantea has had loads of interest in him, but he's obviously been a very, very solid player for us. So we're going to keep him at the club for now. And I don't really think I'm going to be replacing him anytime soon. He's playing just as well as 83 rated Sergio Reguilon on the other side of the pit. That is Bondo on his way to Leeds United. ta, -ta my friend. Thank you for the 16 and a half million pounds. That gives us enough to now. It was a B, only a B for that. Sure, I deserved a bit more than a B, to be completely honest. I've got loads of scout reports back now, but we already know who we want. We want this man. I could get him for well under valuation, apparently. £22 million, pounds, which I'm surprised about. It must be contract related. It must be because his contract is running out or something of that nature. They do want 27.5. They would like valuation. Now, I can't afford valuation. So, rather evidently, we are going to have to get a little bit feisty... Uh, negotiation wise I offer 20 now I'll offer 23 24.1 they have considerably come down that would leave 41,800 in the wage budget now we'd have to agree Benebe's wages and some other free agents wages for that figure so I am going to have to be a little bit frugal here he's on 40 grand a week currently at Parma in Serie A now, ordinarily weirdly this year a lot of players are quite happy to take a wage cut to come to you so uh I'm quite happy if he wants to do something similar as well. He's got an in-game face as well, which I didn't know he had, actually, Benebe, which is an added bonus. I didn't actually pay any attention to his in-game figure on the right-hand side in the shortlist. And look at that. He's willing to almost halve his wages, which leaves us about £32,000 left in the budget to go and get a free agent or two. Now, what Jakob Brun Larsen wants a week, I'm not sure. But at 78 rated, you would imagine... Not much at all. And then it's a case of seeing how good Charlie McCann is as well. Charlie McCann doesn't look like he's going to be that good, really. You can see there that he's not really excelling anywhere. But as an extra body that can play anywhere from CDM to centre mid to camp, he might be worth just having in the squad. Brun Larson, they recommend 22.5 to 33.5, but absolutely we could get him to sign for less than that. Let's try and sign Jakob Brun Larson. I'll wait for the scout report on Charlie McCann. Hopefully, we, within that two years, we might actually finish our time here at Malaga. That would be lovely if we can. So he's in, and I've got £19,000 left in the budget, wage wise, to try and sign someone else. But who that someone is, really not sure right now. 
Espanyol with their typical 4-5-1 here for this Copa del Rey tie. Ferrari still their goalkeeper. Ralston, Martinez, Richards and Costa. Sima Santos, Pepelo, Undombele, and Usor with Rafa Garrido up top. Made a couple of changes to my team purely based on uh, stamina. So Brun Larsen actually gets a start after just signing. Benebe makes his debut as well. Makengo keeps his spot for the time being. And Caro is in at centre-back for Vitic. Other than that, we are as you would expect us to be. This is a competition that we really, really want to win. And the fact that we were able to beat Real Madrid, albeit it was one hell of a game that might have been just a one-off, but we were able to beat Real Madrid earlier this season. We ran Barcelona close. We ran Atletico Madrid even closer. I am praying for a good season this year and a cup win would go down very well indeed. Regulon, we'll try and find Roberto in the box here and he's got options and oh, nearly Benebe able to get a shot away on debut inside five minutes to maybe give us the lead here. We are away from home at the RCD Arena or RCDE Arena, should I say. So it's not going to be straightforward, but so long as everybody does their job and does their job to the best of their ability, we should be fine. Nanasi can't quite get to that. Was meant for Benebe, to be completely honest, but you know what this game's like with its misplaced passes. Garrido misplacing a pass of his own. Still they come forward. Still we stand firm. We'll drive inside, then look for Brun Larsen. He's got good dribbling, so despite the fact that he's not got amazing other technicals, that good in-possession ability should come in handy. Roberto! Golasso! Malaga! By a goal to nil against Espanyol away from home. He's so happy he's knighted the flag. Get in! Espanyol are dangerous. Tangi and Dombele is particularly... Whoa! Decent in possession is what I was going to say. He's not great in the tackle, apparently. But Nebe, you know, Santos wins that header. We've got a couple of um, my football manager Wolves players here. Tanguy Nobele and Nuno Santos. Oh, God, Polistri, that touch was a bit heavy, wasn't it, pal? Here's Costa into Uso. Nice to see some of my fellow Wolverhampton Wanderers players at the, in this save. Gee, right, sir. That was heading into the bottom corner. Edouard Mendy with a decent save. 25 minutes played. It's still 1-0. Seymour will deliver the corner, though. And that's not bad. Not bad is everything they've done so far. There's been nothing great. Still, let's get this ball forward. I'll look for Nana C first. Roberto's going to make the run off me. He's in behind here, Roberto. The angle is tight on that five-star weak foot. He hits the bar. Support on the edge of the box. I see it. Makengo, bit of space. Struck well, but struck wide. Literally, look at Pantea. He's loving life getting forward from fullback. Roberto. Oh, nice little Ronaldo top. There's not much room to try and work the ball. Ran out of room there. Brun Larsen. Challenge. I was just going to try and spin the other way. Playing Reguilon down the line. But he's going to have to take the throw in himself here, Sergio. We'll find Jakob Brun Larsen, who's going to bring it down and, and play it around the corner for Sergio Reguilon. Not badly done. Dinks towards Nanasi. And Palistri. Oh, that's tame in the end from Facundo. Could have found the back of the net. Could have sealed the victory. Costa. Oh, the timing of that run. Garrido. Oh, that's actually a very good goal for Espanyol. The defender in the middle just got caught out there, didn't he? As the ball came over the top of him, Garrido burst beyond. Excellent ball by Costa. And yeah, Andres Caro just stopped to turn just as the ball was played. It's a brilliant finish as well. Garrido levels it up. I presume it's extra time in the Copa del Rey. There's no straight to penalties here like the uh, Carabao Cup. No replays either like the FA Cup. There's still the opportunity for Espanyol to win this. Just as we want to do so at the other end. Headed clear by Regulon. He'll chase after it as well. Nuno Santos brings that down very nicely indeed. Seema, little ball roll. Pantea gets in well. Mm, no mistakes from the press, please. <sighs> we survive. Someone's ended up on the floor in the middle in a heap. Jakob Brunlarsen just spin inside here. Lovely one by Roberto. An excellent th slotted th through all. Oh, and good footwork. And Nana C, I'm sure he's onside. Buries it. And that's 2-1 Malaga. It was borderline. And I would have liked to have taken that on with Roberto. But the ball got stuck underneath his feet as he was trying to turn inside the defender. Thankfully, Nana C was arriving with the run from deep to add that extra option. When he burst past C, I'm just trying to duck inside. But I cut too far back. It just killed the momentum. 
Nana sees the right man in the right place, though, and that's why we moved him centrally and brought a new winger. Calderon wouldn't have been there if he had been. He probably might have missed it as well, to be fair. He has had that in his locker sometimes. We used him as a fringe player at City, and uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to have to use him in a fr fringe capacity here as well. Alvaro Calderon, but that's not a problem. He's going to have the capability from the bench for a 20-30 minute cameo, just not for a full 90 minute performance. We're just going to see this out from here. In seven minutes to go, actually, Espanyol pushed a lot of men forward. For history, I'll just look to float this. And can Bruno Larsen get there for maybe a goal on debut? No. Ferrari makes the stop. Put the brakes on it. Good delivery in. Oh, it's not quite going to reach the head of a Malaga man. The time is really running out for them now. They've got to get the ball forward. Aye! Turn back the other way. I'm so sorry. Get in. There you go. And it's actually opened up for Benebe here. He's got decent finishing, Benebe. Draws the save for the keeper. That's it. That's going to be game. Felistri picks up a yellow, but time has ticked down for them, unfortunately. Sorry, Espanyol. We want to win this competition, and we're taking it very, very seriously. Benebe again. Yes. One man in on a permanent. One man in on a free agent. Technically, I guess a permanent as well. And still money left to do something else between now and deadline day. Well, as we've dropped back after that Espanyol game, uh, the next game has been drawn in the cup and it's just three days later. It's Real bloody Madrid. What are the chances, eh? What are the chances? Can't believe it. I, hope, I hoped it wasn't going to be for a little while, but no. We've got the side that has given us... The toughest test so far in this save since we've been at Malaga. Unai's actually not bad, but physically doesn't quite have it, unfortunately. We got any scout reports back on some of those free agents. Charlie McCann's scout report is there. How good are you, Charlie? 72. Oh, probably not the one, mate, then. Oh, to be honest, he's not the one either. I mean, he's not great either. I need to go and have a look at my squad, figure out where I need extra free agents just to bulk out the numbers positionally and then we'll take it from there we're looking at 7,000 different players to potentially loan or sign on a free but needs must we need to go and play Real Madrid now, they're playing a side that is decent but slightly rotated and on it's probably I mean it's still a particularly good team it's probably realistic that they do that for the Copa del Rey isn't it against a side like Malaga but Matty Cash, Diego Carlos, Wrench, Courtois, Schumeni, Vieira, Vinny, Valverde. It's not exactly rotated that heavily, is it? I'm probably going to have to make... Do I need to make a change? I'm not... Not really. I'm going to I'm gonna try and not make a change and then rely on my five substitutes to try and help me get through this one. Real Madrid versus Malaga, Copa del Rey. Three days after the last Copa del Rey game... Oh, I want to win this trophy this year. I know to win the competitions that you want to win, you've got to beat the best. But you'd rather it was <laughs> once in the final rather than maybe have to beat Real Madrid in this round and then get Atleti in the next round and then if I get through them, get Barcelona in the next round. Ah, We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We've beaten them once. Can we do it twice? Here's Vinicius Junior inside to Bayrami, who's wound up and drawn the save out of Mendy and Real Madrid... Looking to go for the jugular right from the off. Vinny will deliver into the middle. And up by Nanasi, not necessarily away. There you go, and Vinny. <laughs> All right, that way. Took his time in deciding. Blanco with the effort from distance. Fabio Vieira picks up. He's 87 odd rated now. Blanco, Vieira, Suomeni. Oh my god. This is probably going to be like this for the entire game now, isn't it? Backs against the walls, boys. Keep them out. Well up, Nanasi. Nanasi. Jesus Christ. Just all arrived at once trying to get the ball off him. Benebe out to Pantea. Pelistri making a good... <laughs> making a good run. Should have played that through the air, shouldn't I? You're not getting away from me. Solid tackle by Vitic. That's how you deal with Vinicius Junior. Lovely turn by Pelistri. Right, Benebe. you got Vitic... Not Vitic, Benebe with you. Here comes Roberto. Ah, the pass isn't good enough. When we get the opportunity like that, moving forward, 
I'm going to have to make sure I at least have a chance on goal because they're not going to come about very often. Oh, Verde. Oh, he's got the legs on him. Bete, does he? Seems like it. Slowing up, though. That's a cash. Blanco. Suomeni. It's beautifully done. Mendy with the save. And away. No corner, please. Vinny. Blanco. Square ball back to Valverde. It was one of the hardest shots in world football, IRL. Verde Valverde. Strike! Vinny scored fantastic goal against Liverpool in the Champions League midweek IRL. That was not quite so impressive, but still tucked away nicely. It's just been Real Madrid, Real Madrid, Real Madrid. Oh, got a breakaway. Mm, didn't do anything with it. Real Madrid, Real Madrid, Real Madrid. For the opening few minutes. Uh, it seems that our Copa del Rey dreams this year huh, are going to end four days after they started. That is a strong challenge from Suomeni. He's lucky not to get a red for that. Vinny around the corner here to Bayrami. He's past and Bete are trying to get there to block it. Oh, Real Madrid are going to knock me out. Devastated. Little dummy. Not to be sold, though. Ah, there's a press. Bloody hell. Oh. Oh. Nanasi. Oh. Oh. Maybe it's not over yet. 4-3, the scoreline in the last game against Real Madrid. Michael Alise has barely touched the ball in this game so far. I need to get him involved. He's fully fresh as well. Back in the game at 3... No, 2-1. Hopefully that's not jinxing it to say that it will be 3-1 later. Ooh, hello, come on then. Come on, Michael, go again. I'll dig this. Reguilon. Alise is there. We'll use Roberto first. Nana C's making a run. Whoa, Nana C! Mm, Thibaut Courtois. Oh, Christ, Evan Wrench. Oh, I'm getting excited now. We might still actually stand a chance against Real Madrid. Devin Wrench thought about going on the overlap. Decided against it. Ah, that was pretty good. Get there. Well in, Regal. Oh, okay. Don't know how he's done that. Blanco. Don't let him pull that back to Suomeni. Oh, God, under pressure. Elise, Elise, eh? Supposed to be down the wing for me, pal, please. I'll look to Chavez. <sniffs> Needed my man down the wing. Oh, if I just chop him. Oh, God! Oh, I meant go for the ball and check. Oh, he's going to get sent. He's going to get sent. No! Oh, I was just trying to get... I was just trying to get... to half time. Why, are you, why have you gone through the back of him? Hook the ball away! Hook the ball away! Right. Well, we were back in it against Real Madrid. Now we're not. If we pull this off now, then it really is the game of all games. All smattering of defenders still. We're basically playing without a cam at the moment. Oh, I swear that's only gone in because it's Vinicius Junior, not because it was actually a good shot. 3-1 Real Madrid. If that's a 78-rated player rather than a 92-rated player, I, I bet you the goalkeeper saves that. <sighs> Maybe I'm getting a little bit superstitious. 3-1 oh, Real Madrid. Oh, fuck me. This was there for the taking, Chairs, and you've absolute Jesus Christ. You've absolutely fluffed it. Well... Let's go for the Copa del Rey next year then, shall we? The league title still might actually be a possibility. And that will be our sole focus for the rest of this year. At least, even if we do, or when we do, hopefully, qualify for Europe next year, we don't actually need to give that much attention because we've already won the Champions League and the Europa League. So unless we qualify for the Conference League, which is unlikely given our current league position and form, then... It's still going to be only domestic football that we're looking to succeed in. So annoyed at myself. I probably wasn't going to see it through anyway and get the comeback. But you don't help yourself when you get man sent off, do you, really? Roberto's going. That's where that was meant to go, actually. That's going to fall for me, is it? <laughs> kind of. Oh, come on, mate. Man's right in front of you. Benebe, Chavez, Roberto. Oh, what a challenge from Suomeni. Has he even has he even got a yellow card? Sure many. He better have a yellow card. He actually doesn't. 
He murdered me earlier in the game, Shua Mini. The challenge was just as bad as Mbete's, and he got away with it. Can't believe it. Um, oh, Roberto's just going to have to come off, isn't he? Sorry, Roberto. Mm, sorry, Malaga fans. I think the Copa del Rey charge for this season is a dud. One minute added on? Really? One minute? Is that all you're doing? At least they nod that down. I think he's offside here, Brun Larsen. He's not. At least he's in. The angle is really tight. I was never going to squeeze that in from there. I don't think it was a possibility with 11. But it was an inevitability that we were going to lose with 10. I'll take that one on the chin. That one's my fault for getting a Bete sent off. But I still, not, still don't think we would have pulled... Oh, I still don't think we would have pulled it off anyway. Still waiting on a couple of scout reports. Interest in... Zephyrus, I am tempted by him. Approached by Empoli, though, doesn't necessarily fill you with promise. He's actually actually that good. If those windows are towards the lower end rather than the upper end, then he's pretty knackered. We've got Serrano at 78. I could maybe try and loan. Fiorini at 75. I could maybe try and sign, but he's just... I mean, I know I only need a body, but I mean, Peltier is the one that intrigues me most with these initial windows but as we get closer to the full scout report those windows get worse and worse oscar i tried to loan and they said no on coyola i could try and loan him i'll say no there as well martinez try and loan him contract length too short mate sa anyone that is at a club i just can't loan I don't know how good Vergara is. And they still won't loan him to me. Oh, mate! Can I loan Serrano? I can't even loan... So I can't loan anyone. The frustrating thing... The reason why they come up with that... Oh, his contract's too short. Because you have a six-month, a 12-month, and a two-year loan option, when someone in a January window has 18 months left on their contract, I should be able to loan them for six months or 12 months. But because it doesn't have the ability to remove the two-year option as an option and only let me have the 12 months or the six months, it won't let me loan him on a shorter term because I could, if it tried to let me loan him, I could, in theory, loan him for two years when his contract expires in less than that and then he'd be a free agent and he's not with a club. So it should just remove the two-year option and still let you loan them for six months or 12 months, but... It is what it is. Can I loan you? Piss off with your oh, the contracts too short. So anyone that is at a club currently, I just am not going to have the capability to sign. So I'm going to have to go for a free agent. So my options are Salifu, who looks like he might be uh, there or thereabouts. Fiorini, who is 75. It's just a body. Salifu at least is a bit physical. Peltier, who physically might be pretty good, but technically not quite so good. Zephyrus, who physically might be quite good and technically might not be that good. Or Simone Santoro, who actually probably looks like the best of the bunch. Let's try Santoro. Let's try Santoro. Sporadic. Suits me down to the ground, mate. Two years. Sure. Please don't be just rubbish. Don't be absolutely woeful and want less than 10 grand a week in wages. I'll offer him I'll offer him seven and a half and hope that he'll sign it so that I can maybe get another body in as well. 8.8. I'll do it. I'll do it. Please don't be shit. <laughs> this is the, as blind as transfers come, really. Free agents with... Well, Nearly as blind as they come. It's he's 72! Oh, for God's sake! Right. Now do I go for someone who I know their rating at 75? Or someone that I'm not sure that could be a little bit that could be worse. Uh uh. Ah uh, Um Well Frankfurt were interested in the Sally Foo. So, 
I'm going to use that minimal knowledge to say I'm going to try and sign Salifu. If Frankfurt are interested, there must be something there, right? Because Frankfurt are a decent team. Wage-wise, do you want eight grand as well? Uh, okay. No, he doesn't want eight grand. He wants a bit more than eight grand. One? I didn't offer him a pound. What are you talking about? I offered him eight grand. What does it say a pound for? Right, um... I'm just going to go for the man who I know how good he is. And then if Peltier or Seferis come back better. Oh, then I'm going to be really annoyed. I'm going to be really annoyed. Because it was Empoli that were interested in Zeferis. And Empoli aren't a team that are going to be any good, are they? So they're not going to have a play. Any of their players just aren't going to be any good. That's the theory I'm using. Deny release clause, £10.5 million. Pounds. I'm sure I can get a bit more for you than that, maybe. Oh, piss. Uh, 10 grand, sign it and put me out of my misery. Oh, you want 11. You want 11. Fine. Fine. I, I'll be honest, it's not the um, the blockbuster deadline day that we were hoping for. But we've got a couple of uh, extra bodies in. Now, if, if you guys turn out to be any good, I'm going to be spitting feathers. So, deadline day as we progress then. Desire Due, who's actually pretty good. Uh, has gone to Frankfurt. Is there anything that affects us here? Almada leaving Barcelona could be good. Your Etienne wants coming to Bilbao would be annoying. Uh, anything else La Liga based there? No, not really. I don't think we're going to get any bids for anyone at the minute. Fabio Silva leaving Celta is good news for us. To go to PSV is intriguing. A bid for Joe Mendes. Now, he's only on the fringes, but he's also solid. So I'm going to say no. And a bid for Chavez. Tony Martinez and 20 million. No, Chavez, 19, 82 rated. A dynamic potential kicked in for him this year and presumably will continue next year as well. Yuri, Yuri Tivons has come to La Liga now to Bilbao for 62.3. I don't know if we have them left. To... Well, sure, I'm sure we've got to play them again. Camavinga. Ooh, Camavinga to Atleti from Manchester City for 105.4. Just in time for me to play Atletico Madrid in the next episode tomorrow. Cheers, then! I'm so annoyed I got Real Madrid in the, in the Copa del Rey this early. I'm also annoyed at myself for getting Mpete sent off. Interesting, Peltier from LA Galaxy. That probably gives us an indication that he's not that good. A loan to buy for Baran. I still have Nick Pope. If, you, if you'll take him on a six-month short loan... Then you can have him, Ajax, and hopefully he might get a little bit of growth. He probably won't, though. Uh, Alex Scott to Tottenham from Sassuolo. Roberto bid from Burnley, 24 million. No, you, you could give me 124 million, I wouldn't sell him. Andres Caro, I'm not going to sell him either. Not going to be pushed into a deadline day sale, especially for minimal, minimal money. Matthias Peters, 103.8 million. Baron loan agreement. Done. Okay, good. Ajax on a short term then, Baron. Please grow by like five ratings. That'd be great. Matthias Peters to Hoffenheim from Chelsea. Peters was the uh, Dries Mertens regen, wasn't he? That we encountered when we were at Manchester City. Nico Williams to Manchester United. Or Nico Williams, sorry. Rather than Nico. Simakan has left Atleti, though, to go to Stuttgart. So that's good news, at least. They are going to be weaker in defence than they were previously. Suomeni might be leaving Real. Too little, too late, really. We've got to, although to be fair, we've got Real Madrid tomorrow as well, haven't we? In the bloody league after playing him in the cup today. Ha! Uh, Kovacevic to Villarreal. Vladko Kovacevic. Now, I am just going to have a look at him purely out of curiosity because Villarreal are having a look at him. Uh, Vladko was his first name, wasn't it? Let's have a look. Vladko. Vladko Kovacevic, 18 year old. Approach for Villarreal. Fuck it. Why not? Let's try and get another body in. If Villarreal are interested, then surely he's got to have something about him. Maybe. He's tackling Zobis. He's definitely not a left wing back. Eh. If he'll sign... I mean, I mean I've probably only got about 6% or 6 grand left. Uh, eight grand. Do you want to sign on a sporadic roll for eight grand? Important! Piss off, mate. Important. He still wants it. All right. He's not going to sign for any sort of any sort of uh, 
ways that I can offer him, but <laughs> important. 75 million release clause! Or I'm definitely not gonna be a five grand! Oh, praise be! Who the hell are you, mate? Vlad Kokov, screw you, Virial! With one hour left, we've nabbed him! How good is he? 78 rated! <laughs> five grand a week! Are you serious? What dream? How have I pulled that out of the bag then? Where's my voice going? 78 rated Kovacevic, left wing, left mid, left wing back, Serbia. Is that, is that Philip Kostic regen? He's rapid. Technically, he's just not very good. But he's just really, really fun. I mean, why not? Why not? All right, cool. Sorry, Virial. Next time we play Virial, remind me to actually play him. <laughs> Just to take the piss out of Virial. Uh, you're interested in Olmo. I just need the bodies. That was the whole point of us doing as much as we did. Youth development. Everyone's been thrilled by the Youth Academy. Oh, to be fair. Okay, so I've signed youngsters on free agent deals. I've not called anyone up as far as I can recall. Uh, and it's... it's it's given me that. I'm, I'm, I'm sure I haven't called anyone up this year. I see, no, I did, didn't I? The, the guy that we retrained to CDM. Well, they're your biggest deals. Come a bit, well, actually, biggest deals today. They're not necessarily the biggest deals in the window. Let's give you a full transfer roundup, shall we? <laughs> I'm absolutely done for your AL there. I can't quite believe it. Oh, what a bargain. What an absolute bargain. Steal. Oh, I feel like Harry Redknapp wheeling and dealing. Right, let's have a look. I'm not a wheeler dealer. Fuck off. Uh, Peters, Camavinga, they were the two that we saw earlier. Ortiz to Fulham, 83 rated. That went on in between windows. Nico Williams, we saw Barela to Manchester United from Spurs. So moving within the Premier League. Uh, Kenneth Taylor's come to Barcelona. That happened in between windows. Alex Scott is 87 rated. He grew so well, Alex Scott. Real surprise. Uh, Giacomo Raspadori, gone to Napoli in January. Almada did go to Chelsea on deadline day in the end. Kone has come to Valencia. Quadio Manu Kone. Anything else in here? Let's have a quick look down. Jeremy Doku to Inter went through in between windows. Simakan went to Stuttgart. Uh, Tielemans is 86 rated still at Bilbao. So he's going to have an impact there, isn't he? Caden Clark's 84 rated now in this save. Richie's 85 rated. Samueli Richie from Freiburg to West Ham. Did we play against Richie when we were at Dortmund? I don't know. The name rings a bell for some reason. Jonathan David's come to Hetafe in between windows. We got Hetafe tomorrow. I think we might have Hetafe tomorrow. Did we play Hetafe recently? I can't remember. Was it was it Hetafe played in the first game? No, it couldn't have been. Oh, I don't know. No, it wasn't. It was Espanol. Uh, Hickey. Was, oh no, that was in the That was in the summer. Uh, Oh, Giacomo, is it Giacomo? Jorginho Rutter has left Real Sociedad. That's good news for us when we play Sociedad next time because he was very good. Chiquese to Chelsea. And that's your lot. So we are, what, halfway through the league season? Or just over halfway through the league season. 12 points off Barcelona at the top of the table. So at the minute then, our aim solely for the remainder of the year is either a miracle and we close down Barcelona or... More importantly, uh, we're only five points above eighth place Celta Vigo. So top four is the priority now. Being in third at this stage with only a, a handful of episodes left this season. We want to... He's turned it down. It ran out of time. It ran out of time. Fine. Oh, Baran stays. I thought, I can't, I'm just still in shock about that. Um, about that. That free agent. So yes, Hatafe we have tomorrow. Athletic at home, Hatafe away, then Atleti at home, and Real Madrid away. I might sim Madrid actually. I might sim Madrid away and play the other three, because let's be honest, I'm not going to get I'm not going to get another result against Real Madrid. The do I want payback for the previous game? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll decide it with Twitch chat. So they'll be the ones to figure that one out. That's all for today's YouTube video. Thank you very much for watching. A tumultuous transfer deadline day that we thought was going to just end in a tame drip of a finish. Ended with a little bit of a curveball. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow.